Everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today, we're going to show you how to set up a personal Wi-Fi hotspot on an iPhone 14 Pro. This is the deep purple one. Very nice. Hot off the presses. Just came out. So in order to do this, you want to find the settings menu, which is this icon with the concentric gear. So click on that. And now you should see, hopefully, personal hotspot. If you don't see personal hotspot here, or if you don't see it under here, there might be a few reasons. One is that your plan does not allow it. In other words, the SIM card or eSIM that you're connected to is actually set to not allow you to do a Wi-Fi hotspot, which basically means you can't share your cellular connection to other devices. So some carriers don't allow that. Uh, another reason might be that you don't actually have a data connection. So it won't show up, I think, if your data is turned off. So if this is turned off, uh, personal hotspots grayed out. And in some cases, it might not even show up. So anyway, so let's turn on our data. In this case, um, we're roaming, so it should allow it. And now you have to turn it on for the first time. So I've never turned it on in this phone. So I have to actually turn it on here. And then you get like a randomly generated password. So you'll notice that this password is like impossible to type. And if you have like family sharing or they're logged in under your Apple ID. So if you have like an iPad on the same Apple ID, you don't need to type it in it will automatically connect. But if you want to connect with anyone else, you want to reset this and just set like something easy to communicate but not too easy to guess and then done and so now they only have to type in that so turning that on increases the compatibility with other devices especially non-apple devices or older devices but it won't be quite as fast if you're only going to connect to your own apple devices turn it on if you're going to connect to something else maybe consider turning it off or if people can't find you turn it off uh, the other thing to note is that you can actually, it's not just a personal Wi-Fi hotspot, actually be a Bluetooth hotspot, or you can be a wired uh, internet connection for a laptop. So just keep that in mind as well. You have some other options. So it shows up here under cellular and also shows up here below cellular. So it's actually the same sub menu. Uh, the other thing to note when you want to turn it on and off in the wild is if you pull down the shortcuts menu here, and then you go to this one and you press down. So this is all your kind of like cellular uh, antenna stuff. Personal hotspot is here. And so if you turn it on, then you're discoverable. And the question is, what's the difference between discoverable and non-discoverable? Uh, discoverable means anyone who's never connected to it, who brings up on their phone, like what's a nearby Wi-Fi hotspot, should be able to see it. Non-discoverable means that I think only phones or devices that have connected to you before will be able to see that you're there. So uh, like if it's an iPhone or iPad that you synced to before, it'll show up in one of their options, even if you're not discoverable, I think. So double check me on that one. Uh, the other thing to note is if you go to airplane mode, it automatically turns off. So if you're here in your airplane mode, now it's undiscoverable because you can't be a hot Wi-Fi hotspot or a cellular hotspot if your cellular is turned off. So anyway, there you go. Uh, so that's basically it for setting up and turning on and off a Wi-Fi hotspot on an iPhone 14 Pro and also the same for the Pro and Pro Max. Okay, I just got a message. So that's it for today. See you guys next time. Bye. Everyone, welcome back to Hotex. Today we have a hot off the presses iPhone 13 Pro Max dual physical SIM Hong Kong version. And today I'm going to show you how to insert and remove.